to my house. Conduct. You can't come in here. You don't have a warrant, Can sir. Can you prove that? Do you, understand? you don't have a warrant, sir. You don't have a warrant, Can sir. Step out of my house, sir. You don't have a warrant. Get out, Get out of my house, sir. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today we're going to take a visit to the state of Washington in the city of Cooley Dam, where a police chief and one of his tyrants make illegal entry into the home of a citizen. And you guessed it, no warrant, no exigent circumstances, and no probable cause. But these homeowners don't take this land down. They quickly remove the police from their home. And as we're going to see, if the police come into your home or onto your property with no warrant, no exigent circumstances, and no probable cause, they have just violated your Fourth Amendment rights. Make sure you take them into a court and you sue them. Make sure your rights are not violated. Let's take a quick look at this video. We'll dive more in later. You can't come in here. You don't have a warrant, sir. Can you prove that? You don't have a warrant, sir. You don't have a warrant, sir. Step out of my house, sir. You don't have a warrant. Get out of my house, sir. Step out. Get out of my house. You don't have a warrant, sir. Back up, Aaron. Let them in. If they're going to come in, they're going to come in. You don't have a warrant, sir. You need a warrant, sir, and you, you, in court. you need probable cause for charges. You have no probable cause. I was talking on the phone to my husband. They think that everything I say is about them. So you can go ahead and leave my property. You cannot Bye -bye. enter our home, sir, without a warrant. No, I don't think I will. She... You have no evidence of a crime committed, sir. No, you don't. But I'm her husband, sir. What crime was committed and what evidence? But what evidence do you have? Do you understand why that started, though? Did you come take a statement? No, you don't. No, but, sir, we have it on video, sir. There's video cameras outside. He yelled over here first. So I know it's a little hard to hear what the police officer is saying, but he's making an accusation that the reason he's there to arrest the homeowner or the homeowner's wife was due to the fact that she was using abusive language while standing on her front lawn. The problem is this. These cops show up. They take the word of one neighbor without ever investigating, without ever coming to take the statement of the accused party. You can't just show up to a scene and someone says, hey, that person is guilty. And then you run right over and try and make an arrest doesn't work that way, nor is it even in line with the disorderly conduct law in the state of Washington. Let's read this. RCW, which means Revised Code of Washington, 9A.84.030, disorderly conduct. A person is guilty of disorderly conduct if the person uses abusive language and thereby intentionally creates a risk of assault. Here we have the police chief and one of his tyrants at the home of a citizen stating, hey, you use abusive language, but that's not what the law states. It states if you use abusive language and very key words and thereby create intentionally the risk of assault. A person is guilty of disorderly conduct if the person uses abusive language and thereby intentionally creates a risk of assault. And as we continue to watch the video, we're going to see there was no risk of assault. According to the husband, the wife was on the phone. The neighbor thought she was talking to him. He screams at the wife. The wife screams back. It's just two people screaming back and forth. There is no risk of assault. Disorderly conduct can also be intentionally disrupts any lawful assembly or meeting of persons without lawful authority. That did not happen. Intentionally obstructs vehicular or pedestrian traffic without lawful authority or intentionally engages in fighting or in a tumultuous conduct or makes unreasonable noise within 500 feet of the location of where a funeral or burial is being performed. That did not happen. So as we see, this police chief and his tyrant had no warrant and they also had no probable cause. This is the reason why he could not tell the husband what the wife had done wrong. He yelled over here first. No, sir, she was on the phone. She was on the phone. But you can't, you can't arrest her when you have no evidence, sir. What, the word of one guy? That is not enough evidence, sir. No, it's not. 
<laughs> We've been over RCWs, Chief. We've been over RCWs. She's broke no law, sir. You just entered my home. You just entered my home without a warrant, sir. You broke the law right there. Yes, you did. So you're telling me that you don't need a warrant to enter my home and break my door? Huh? You don't need a warrant. She did not do anything wrong, sir. No, she did not. Until you have evidence to prove that, you cannot arrest her. Hands down, you cannot. I know the law. For what, though? You have no evidence. Zero. Okay. I'm, I'm a witness, sir. No, I'm a witness. And I know that I was, she was on the phone with her ex-husband. She got in an argument. She was yelling on the phone on our porch. That man, no, that man yelled over here at her first. So would that not make it disorderly? He yelled over here at her first, sir. First. So you're telling me that you can just yell at people across the street and not get an effect and someone to say something back? But you didn't even come get a statement from her. You just tried to bust our door in. You entered my home illegally and tried to arrest her without evidence. A statement. That is not enough evidence, sir. Get a warrant and then you can come back. I'm calling 911 to have a different police agency come here. You just entered my home without a warrant. They sent us some Hold on. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm scared, Aaron. I don't know what to do here. They're making up lies. And they just literally busted our door down. Came in here. I don't even know who to call. I don't know who to call. I'm shaking here. I don't know. Mark Wahlberger's burgers. All of a sudden, he's the only... I want them arrested stop, for stop. false police reports. Um, one one two five Camas Street. The police just literally b broke our door, entered our home without a warrant. Um, the neighbor had called them about disorderly conduct, something like that, because my wife was on the porch and got in a heated argument with her ex husband on the phone, and the police showed up, and they just came and they didn't get a statement from us, nothing. They just busted our door in. Because with no warrant, I asked them several times if they had a warrant. Now they're at all. I asked her if they had a warrant. They said no. I need some type of different police here. I need state patrol. Oh, my God. But we, stopped. we, we opened our door, and we tried to talk to them, ma'am. They literally busted our door in with no warrant. That is against the law. That is against the law, ma'am. I have it on video. I have it on video. I need a state patrol. I need some kind of con different uh, agency here. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Can't even go out on, out on our front porch. Safe. Just hold on. Stop. That is harassment. Harassment. I asked him several times if they had a warrant, sir. She broke no law. She was on the front porch yelling. That's it. On the phone. That's not breaking a law. The neighbor then called. Yelled across the street at her first. That is not her breaking any law. That's him. He yelled at her. Called her a stupid. That's what he yelled at her. This is twice now that we. The video cuts off there. And I have not been able to find a follow up to this situation. Hopefully there was a follow up, a complaint filed and a lawsuit also filed. Also, the link to the full video is down below. Make sure you go and check it out. Also, make sure you know your rights and don't let your rights be violated. As we see, there are tyrants everywhere and you must know your rights because they don't know your rights, nor do they care to know your rights. Down below also is a link to my free ebook. Make sure you download it. It's going to teach you what you can and can't do and especially what the cops can and cannot do. That being said, we the People University, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.